Here's the binder section in my classroom. So today I just want to show you a little bit about what our binder station looks like. Um, so up here I have a spot for my ESPs, my aides to look at what we do each day, kind of um, spelled out so they know what to do. Um, and if I ever do something different, I flip that over. Okay, I just kind of say what they're going to do if it's ever going to be different. But this is kind of an easy way. At first I was doing that first sight every every time and that just wasn't working out because it would change too often. So that's been awesome. And then I also have right here binder work kind of spelled out what you do there, how long it should last, what to do if there's extra time. And then my little sticky note, send completed work home. Okay, just so come my staff know what to do. Um, we use signs a lot when we are at this station. So that book's right there along with our current environmental print story and the signs that go with it is in a pocket right next to our binders. Okay, so then here's our binders, color-coded to help my students find the right one. Um, and they also have their names on them. So just let me show you an example of what's in a binder. Okay, um, so I have different tabs. They're not pretty, they're all different, they're recycled, but hey, we do what works. So first we have signs. This is the environmental print from PCI. I love it, it's awesome. Um, so a student will do one or two of those a day depending. Writing is usually the student's name. Um, Say in glue, I have these activities, I love them. It's very language based. So this one is in a bedroom, find something you wear on your feet, glue them on your page. So they would do those two pages at a time. Um, we have a vocab se section right here. It's my um, kitchen vocabulary unit. Okay, so that's in there. They'll review those. Um, here's like their flashcard activities and questions, and they will typically keep their flashcards up in the front. Okay. Um, do some Edmark. Not too often, but there's that in there as well. Um, and then just kind of some extra work in the back as well. But um, we also have some reading or writing. I think this is also a PCI, yeah, PCI social skills reader, getting along with people at school. So this is another thing they can read the two-page story, one page, second page over there, and then go over to the work tab, okay, and then answer the questions on that story. I also have um, a form here that I'm not actually showing you because there's personal information on there, um, but it's just kind of... Oh, I'll show you a little bit. Okay, so it's a job application. There's, um, you know, name, date, and the student takes their name and then in their address and all that and then matches it to the appropriate spot in that form, okay? So that's just kind of a quick look at my binder station in my classroom. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and hope to see you soon. Bye.